Hi Scorpio, welcome to your tarot reading for the period of October 9th to the 16th. It's Rena here. I'm going old school using the Rider weight deck. So, without further ado, this is a general focus. Why do I always put the cards so long? Gosh, you got such a nice one. And of course, um, at the end of... Oh, you know what? <laughs> I was going to say at the end of October, you're going to have your solar return. But this week... It, uh, Jupiter goes into your sign. Maybe that's why I'm getting so many great cards, okay? Because this is the heart of the matter, is the Sun card. The Sun card number 19 is one of the best cards that you can get. And I, I connect it to the fifth house in astrology. So that's the house that Leo rules. The Sun rules Leo anyway. But um, we're talking about creativity children, you know, conceiving children, your own business, or other creative endeavors, love, falling in love. So something along this line could be featured for you uh, during this upcoming week. And let's look in the past position. So it may be career oriented because we have here the eight of pentacles, unless you have met somebody who is prominent earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But this is um, somebody who is training to do something, who is practicing their craft. And obviously that could run the gamut. But um, you're, ha you're experiencing that success. And that is um, enlivening to you. And in the current state, we have the nine of wands so if there's like a cautious energy almost like this is too good to be true i have to have my back up because i don't know if i can trust this and what i would say is watch out for that uh tendency because that's being overly suspicious this is kind of how you are anyhow scorpio you're always watching your back thinking that thinking uh the worst of others and I'm not saying that chastising you because I think that there's some I think there's some validity to that sometimes that some people are too gullible and they allow they open themselves to getting played betrayed what have you and if this is a romance um, you may have uh, been in, in a past situation if this if it's not within uh, maybe it's with somebody from work, too. That's also a possibility. But it could simply be that you were working on a prior relationship that never quite made it. And now you've found the real thing. And remember that the timeline here is that can be a little bit screwy because we're ta we're just talking about a week. This is a I'm doing this type of reading just to fill in the cracks uh and do something more current before I start doing November readings. That's kind of why I'm doing this. And it's kind of giving you like a, a little weather report, but don't take it too literally because some of this may not be true and maybe something was from the, the distant past. But it's possible that some of you were working very hard on a relationship that just didn't make it and now you feel this sense of renewal because you've actually found somebody when you, you know, you don't have to try that hard. That's the point I was trying to make. It took me like way too long to make that point. Um, but the 
the card that um, crosses you is the Six of Wands. This is the card of victory and of taking your bow. So as I was saying with that Nine of Wands, um, it's very important when you have success to be able to embrace it. I've said this before on other videos that sometimes having a success can be frightening if you're used to not having them. It can feel uncomfortable. It sounds pretty absurd, but um, it's the case. And, it, and I'm talking about a literal sense of discomfort. So with the Sun card, you have to be able to embrace good that comes into your life and not overanalyze it or not distrust it because um, that Six of Wands is right under it and it's like, do you feel worthy? Do you feel worthy of having good things happen to you is the real key. The spiritual message is the King of Pentacles. So this is about, this is your heritage. This is your divine heritage to be a person of abundance. And even though you may, let's say you're a woman um, watching this, the, the, the archetype of the king, you might think, oh, well, that's a man. No, it's just like considered an elevated position. And this is with money. So this is somebody who is very prosperous. And if you feel like you're not deserving, you have to get into that mindset. And in order to do that, <laughs> this is like, this might be advice, because this is like talking about the future, is the, the magician card. So become like the magician. This is the card I would associate with law of attraction. And basically... And even like do for self, if you want to know the truth. It's really also self-empowerment. And what this card represents to me is somebody who is independent of the need to have other people manifest for them. In other words, uh, or, or even just give them the opportunity to manifest. They're doing it for themselves. So one example would be you have decided that you're going to break away from your place of employment and start on your own. And you may say to yourself, but I don't really have what it takes in terms of materials to make this happen. And the magician really is resourceful and makes do with what he has in order to make his dreams come true. So it's not about investing a lot of money in something and advertising all that. It's maybe starting very small and just dipping your toe in the water and seeing how it progresses instead of just committing uh, too many resources at the beginning. But the Magician card is just there to remind you that you run the show. And as I said before, with all the, cat, with the cardinal energy, you may already know this and you may be very proactive and not be like waiting for somebody else um, to give you, you know, tell you what to do and, and, and give you an opportunity. Um, there was a person, my partner was telling me about this person who he was looking for a job and he couldn't find one. And he, he told, um, he told my partner, his boss, he goes, you know what? I was, I was law. I, I was out of work. I decided to hire myself. And what he meant was he, he, uh, started a business so maybe that's what you need to do. Maybe you need to hire yourself. Maybe you're looking outside of yourself and you're having success, but it's not um, something that you feel worthy of. Um, when you feel self-empowered, you're willing to do whatever it takes to make things happen. 
And the other thing too, I, I think this is this um, bears mentioning is that you may have a success, but it's something that, yeah, you know, I was thinking of in terms of self empowerment with this King of uh, Pentacles. There may be this feeling of that isn't possible for me, and that's not true you may really be convinced that you're not capable of having this this thing come true even if it has come true you may be like waiting for the other shoe to drop and so the magician is about feeling self-empowered which means that you're not relying on outer events in order to feel safe to feel okay, that you know your true nature and that it's never going to lead you astray, that you're always going to be, uh, as long as you're doing your part, that you're going to be divinely protected. Because, you know, Scorpio is a fixed water sign. So the water signs really are about emotion. And with fixed energy, it can be crystallized emotion. And that leads to um, having certain biases and having certain stubborn beliefs that may not be serving you. The outcome is very exciting. The Page of Wands speaks of exciting news that may be coming your way. And this news will be making you feel enlivened. If you've been someone who has felt like good things are happening to you and yet you still are a bit nervous about it. Maybe you're having a breakthrough but you are not up to speed yet because you're still very apprehensive that you might lose everything. This is a card that may be telling you that some other things are coming your way that are very exciting. Uh, by the way, in relationship issues. The magician can connect to Gemini or Mercury, so maybe even with Virgo it's possible, and the Page of Wands with fire energy. So Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay, Scorpio, well I'm going to leave that there. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below, but otherwise have an awesome October. Bye!